Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Collector and welcome to my Nerd Cave. So it's been a while since I've actually posted any kind of updates on what I've been doing with my rooms. So I figured this is going to be my 2020 room tour. I'm a very lonely person and so all these rooms are my own personal Nerd Cave. So, um, I guess without further ado, I'm just going to get started and like jump right into it. So we are in the toy room. And of course, I got the posters at the door. Uh, this is actually pretty neat. Uh, the original Tommy from Power Rangers uh, actually showed up at a toy store that I frequent. Uh, I've probably mentioned it on the channel a few times. Total nostalgia. I unfortunately did not actually get to go meet him. I was ridiculously tired. I've been working so many hours and so many days straight. The next day I was off and I went over to the store and they had a few prints of his autograph. So I went ahead and purchased one. Uh, mainly to make my buddy jealous, and I'm sure he's watching the video right now saying screw you, so. See, so, yeah, I already showed off the posters. I got Transformers back here, the, uh, vintage Star Wars toys. The poster itself is not vintage, but the toys on the poster are. Uh, let's see, it's time to duel. Uh, just some, like, Batman Returns, uh, Thermos lunchbox. Of course, Mike M. wrote on it, and I need to get that off at some point. Also, I really hate when they put the stickers on the fucking thing right there. They could, they had all this plastic to put that on, and I could have just gotten it off. And no, it's like permanently just there, and that's annoying. Uh, vintage gargoyles puzzle that's never been opened. Some vintage Halloween masks, Ninja Turtles, and Batman. Uh, here's my um, Mighty Maxes. Uh, obviously it's not actually herbs and spices, it's Mighty Max. I almost bought another one the other day. I did not, though. I had other things to get, so. It was at a toy store, so it might still be there when I go back. I don't know. I'm planning on going back soon, because there's a lot more stuff that I really wanted at Total Nostalgia. Uh, up top, we've got an Aladdin light-up drawing desk. That's kind of neat. Uh, Goosebumps Back to back to Ghoul set and Pee Wee Play set color forms uh, Vintage Lego phone some Ninja Turtle stuff up here and go around and show off that I've got two of the big turtles and one of the turtle trolls um, which Total Nostalgia also has a um, I think it's Ralph or not Ralph, Raph <laughs> a Raph, uh, giant turtle. He does not have his belt, though, and I'm getting kind of picky because I've got those two with their belts intact, and so it's kind of difficult for me to really, like, want to settle on buying one that does not have that. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. Uh, of course, the rest of my Ninja Turtles are here. Um, the vehicles are down here on the next shelf, along with some other stuff, uh, the 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 da, 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 dragon, um, food fighters. Got Peter Pan from Hook, played by Robin Williams. Looks nothing like Robin Williams, but you know whatever. Um, oh, yeah. these are kind of neat. Remember these? Yeah. Uh, down here, just a mishmash of different stuff. Uh, some of the big LJN wrestlers are back there. Some Spawn. Um, got this guy. Got some Captain Planets back there, and it's the irony's not lost on me that they made a bunch of Captain Planet toys out of plastic. So, oops. let me drop my phone while I'm recording. Down here's some more mishmash games type stuff, toys. Oh, goodness, I'm getting some lovings from Kitty Cat. And this is Fluffy. She gave me some lovings while I'm trying to show off my stuff. What happened down here? I think I have like extra turtle parts. And now a cat. Vintage R2-D2 toy box, uh, not much inside, uh, nothing at all inside really, but yeah, so that's really dope. Um, of course I decorate the walls with unopened figures, including a Predator, some Rugrats, Hit Clips, uh, Vintage Power Rangers, or not Power Rangers, goddamn, Star Wars. I am not all here right now. <laughs> Uh, in the closet, we've got some Nerf stuff, a couple board games I don't have room for anywhere else, and some puzzles. 
And uh, this is also where I keep my G.I. Joes. Pretty dope. And then up along the wall, we've got more unopened stuff, as well as a Dark Maul lightsaber. And now over here, I've got uh, some more unopened stuff. Uh, Tommy's Reptar Toss, Vintage Toy, some Rugrats. Uh, walkie talkies. Why am I so out of breath? It's not COVID. I'm I'm fat and I smoke. So yeah, let's see. E.T. Tornado Taz. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, projector. Got some more company based Odin. And a bunch of unopened card packs. Uh, Alien Three. Uh, Hunchback and Notre Dame, those are all actually open. Uh, Power Rangers, I got a bunch of, weirdly. Let's see, here's where I keep my vintage uh, Hot Wheels, um, some old cereal boxes for Batman and Adam's Family. And down here is where all my cards go Pokemon, uh, Pogs, some Star Wars in there. Um, over here in the next shelf is some more stuff. Uh, of course, we got Bart Simpson up here. I've got a few of these cards uh, that I can swap out, and it's kind of dope. Uh, vintage McDonald's, uh, another game that could go on that shelf if there was room for it over there. Um, Mad Magazine card game, uh, Disney Dominoes, Teddy Ruxpin in the box, these vintage um, plastic record players that have set songs that you can play. Play school, bug world in the box. Uh, no bugs, but it's got the playset. Uh, Fisher Price, basically another one of those. Um, vintage Simon Says, Light Bright, uh, and then I keep vintage lunch boxes down at the bottom. Make sure this is still recording. And here we go to the Transformers shelf. And I'm not even going to try to go through all of them. I'm terrible with names, even with stuff that I, like, really love to collect for. So, yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah, we know who all these guys are. All the way down here. I only collect the vintage stuff, really. Down here is my... I, I'm pretty sure it's complete now. Robin Hood Prince of Thieves collection. Um, even got the vehicles... And the playset, which the playset was actually reused from Kenner. It was the Ewok Village playset from like 10 years before. And then they reused the mold to make, you know, the Robin Hood one. Alright, some more stuff up here. Tarzan, the Epic Adventures. Last Action Hero down there. Super underrated movie. I love that movie. Um, then it comes to Star Trek stuff. And um, I'm really proud of this shelf right now. I love it. I just recently added a couple Predators and a couple Aliens to it. Um, so, yeah, Predators, Aliens, and I've got random Jurassic Park Jeff Goldblum hanging out with Ripley over here. Um, Dragon Ball Z, this is stuff that I've had since I was a kid. Like, that's some of the only stuff that I actually still have from when I was a kid, as far as toys go. So, yeah... Um, Weirdly, I'm not as attached to it as I am some of the newer stuff that I've picked up. Well, a lot of it's older, technically, but, you know, whatever. Uh, but still, I, I love Dragon Ball Z, so I've got all of that stuff. Um, some Batmobiles here, and then a Batman shelf. Pretty cool, pretty cool. More lunchboxes down there. Here's some carrying cases over here that I use. Uh, well, I don't use what I use for decoration at the bottom of the shelf. Um, then we come up to the Toy Biz uh, Marvel stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I like that I have Galactus now. Um, up here is a Disney shelf. Um, of course, we all remember the McDonald's VHS clamshell cases that had the toys in them. Uh, some Mighty Ducks, some Gargoyles back there. Uh, of course, um... Uh, Dick Tracy stuff over here and uh, the Little Mermaid uh, VHS case that has a penis on it. So yeah Some random stuff up top and I'm gonna go to the shelf right below it here in just a second So I got a couple thermoses some pogs uh, Michael Jordan 
uh, this guy right here, uh, MC Hammer. Rotten Egg, I used to play with that a lot. And then down here, um, I recently added a few Terminator toys to the collection, which is dope. Um, as well as Jurassic Park figures. Um, so I got Stallone from Demolition Man, uh, some uh, Swamp Thing, uh, the villain, well, one of the villains from Last Action Hero. A couple of um, Rambo figures, and of course, Mr. T from A Team. So, yeah. Um, then down here, that's actually my toy box from when I was a kid. Still have it. A um, bunch of plush figures. Of course, we got Bart Simpson in there. Uh, a couple ETs. Um, Not the mama. Uh, Space Jam stuff. Vintage poster for Masters of the Universe. Um, vintage troll doll TV tray. And then we're going to come over here to my Masters of the Universe. Boom. Pretty cool. Uh, I recently added this vehicle right here as well as uh, this, I guess, carrier. I, I'm, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, uh, Battle Bones is what he's called. He's on the poster. <laughs> uh, no, I just now noticed that he's got a broken beast right here, but no, I mean, still, whatever. Um, figures. I just recently picked up Moduloc. Um It's really hard for me to remember what all I have for that, so I'm not like going out of my way and picking up a figure here and there for it. If I find a lot, then I will pick up the lot. Um, it's just hard for me to like pick and choose what I find in like stores and be like, hey, I don't have that one, like just off the top of my head. So, of course, Gray Skull, uh, the horses, uh, record. Then up here is Ghostbusters. Uh, I recently picked up Stay Puff, uh, Beetlejuice, The Mask, and Toxic Crusaders. Um, here's a couple G.I. Joes. He's from the A-Team, and he's from Mortal Kombat. The 90s Lord of the Rings figures. Um, I have three different Gandalfs and nothing else for that, so. Then down here is the Thundercats collection. I've got a bunch of figures, and not a single one of them is an actual Thundercat. Down here is... Comics, uh, these are G.I. Joe's mostly. Um, just, you know, stuff from random toy lines that I do collect for. And then I've got board games down here at the bottom of these shelves. Um, so, yeah. So, that is, you know what, uh, we'll go out into the hall. It kind of carries out in here. Let's see some more figures over here. Got a bunch of Garfields. These are Rock'em Sock'em Robots from, I guess, early 2000s. Uh, tech Deck Dudes. Uh, mask figures. Uh, from, this guy's from Dino Riders. And then here's a bunch of random Simpsons figures. And then... Some random vehicles down there. Random kitty. Here's some Ghostbusters love over here. And, uh... Give me just a minute and I'm going to carry on into the game room and you will see what I've got in there. And we're back. So, first I'm going to show off some of this stuff. Some posters that came with games. As well as, over here, some items that came with games also. Some my CDs, because physical media will never die. And my Amiibo collection. As well as down here, some PSP stuff. Some of the... Switch games I don't have room for anywhere else, and a bunch of player guides, uh, Nintendo Powers, uh, just all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, obviously, it is a complete mess through this hallway, so I really need to start kind of working on organizing some of the stuff out here. Um, okay, Let's see, you got the that up here, Mario's World. Uh, the door is decorated, and we're going to move on in. Of course, immediately we got this painting of Mario, some uh, memory cards. And here we've got a bunch of controllers and the Luigi painting, as well as up here a Pokemon poster, Pokemon Through the Years. Um, I'm going to do this front part first. So... 
a bunch of random VHS tapes, a TV. I really need to get a stand for that to sit on so that I can play more comfortably. Here's a TV with a VCR attached to it. Um, and here I keep... Uh, it is basically a painted shut. A bunch of handheld stuff. So, And down here, a bunch of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ash Mask. There's some Pokemon poster love, some like vintage uh, Nintendo table cover, maybe? I don't know. Um, Futon with a Mario Kart DS comforter on it, some Pokemon pillows, some consoles that are basically for parts and some cables and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to move back this way. Some gar Guitar Hero controllers, because that's still actually pretty fun to play on PS2, honestly. Then up top, we've got uh, Dance Dance Revolution Super Nova 2 for PS2. Um, Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller, Guitar Hero packs back here. And the PS2 shelves with Hulk figures, including Abomination down here. Uh, some original Xbox, here's a few GameCube games. Keep the original Xbox stuff down at the bottom. Let's see, over here is Super Nintendo stuff, um, including some boxed games and some uh, random v uh, video game related VHS tapes, including like Hot News for N64, uh, a couple Pokemon things, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Legend of the Crystal Coconut. But, yeah, a bunch of cool stuff like that. Over here, some more decals. Uh, these are loose disc games. Mostly PS1, but there's a few other different consoles. Down here's my Atari, as well as Intellivision, and, you know, just stuff of that nature over here. Here's some Switch games. Uh, some GameCube games. And uh, some mangas down here at the bottom, along with the GameCubes. And a box Atari 5200. Here's my PlayStation 1 spinning thing. As you can see, I am running out of room for PS1 stuff. That was my console as a kid, was PS1. Uh, I had We had a Sega Genesis before that. That was more of my sister's, but I did play it. Um, but PS1 was like the first console that was mine. So here's some more box stuff. Uh, Mario Kart... Double Dash, GameCube box, PSP box, another PSP box, a Sega Game Gear box, and Atari 7800 in box. As well as these right here, the um, Nintendo toy boxes, I guess is what you would call them. So we move over here. We've got uh, TV game, uh, Pong clone basically in the box. Uh, the original NES um, action set, Nintendo Power, that's actually where I keep um, end labels for uh, N64 games. You can buy those pretty reasonably on eBay. Uh, really good condition, uh, so I'm, I'm going to show off the N64 stuff here in just a minute. Uh, Pokemon Watch, uh, Power Set Nintendo Entertainment System, came with the uh, gamepad and everything like that. Some random Pokemon figures and then my NES games. Me and my granddad actually built this shelf ourselves. Uh, some box games down here at the bottom. Including a couple of rare ones down there too. So yeah. Um, up here N64s. My dog knocked over my Guitar Hero guitars. <laughs> some other random stuff up here. The uh, Ultra Racer 64. This uh, Turok toy uh this doom metal figure some other random stuff here's a couple boxes for games i don't have the boxes for this is the collector's edition ocarina of time i do have ocarina of time i just don't have the actual game that goes with this particular box so oh vintage nintendo uh napkins back there randomly uh the universal cleaning kit up here um, here's N64 stuff. I've got a bunch of boxed ones. And then down here, and you can see where the uh, end labels are. Um, so they're, um, 
they're vinyl, so they're in really good con so they're really good shape. They're tough and durable, and um, plus they make the games look so much better. Like you can actually see which game you want to pull out and all that stuff. So yeah, more Pokemon stuff as you can see. Uh, Mario 25th Anniversary CD, a bunch of Nintendo figures. Down here we've got some Sega Genesis stuff, as well as some Atari games in box, and I can't actually see what I'm aiming the camera at, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm not showing everything good. I'm trying to do it as well as possible. <laughs> and then uh, over here is PS4 stuff, uh, Wii U and Wii. Uh, some Sega CD, some Sega Dreamcast, DS and 3DS, and uh, Sega the, 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 the Master System down there at the bottom. And uh, just kind of ignore the, underneath the futon. It's a lot of wires, cables, controllers, uh, just extra stuff down there. As well as some like game cases and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, it didn't show up there. Uh, we got some VHS games up there, so that's kind of dope. But, um, yeah, that's, that's my game room. Um, I'm just going to take you in and show you the, uh, um, movie media collection now. So, um, I'll be right back. Really quick, back here I wanted to show off some VHS stuff. That's the complete, like literally complete, over 300 VHS tapes of Dark Shadows. As well as the complete original series of Star Trek on VHS. Uh, Pee-wee's Playhouse, Indiana Jones box set, um, Little Rascals, Rogers and Hammerstein, Robocop. Um, a lot of that I've already upgraded to Blu-ray and have no reason to keep, but, uh, something aesthetically pleasing about VHS tapes, I don't know. So, I just watched Scrooge and that's what you're hearing, the music that's playing. Up here at the top, um, I guess I can show off some, uh, military stuff from when I was in the military, if you can believe it. Um, vintage Freddy Krueger talking doll from Matchbox. Still works, still in the box, and it's awesome. I was looking for one of those forever, and I found it at Total Nostalgia not too long ago. Um, the Freddy and Jason up here are actually from the early 2000s. They used to talk, but I think the batteries are dead. Uh, still in the boxes, though, and they're pretty dope to have, especially when um, I've got this shelf pretty much dedicated to Nine right now on Street and Friday the 13th. Um, below that, horror movies, um, I need more shelves. Like, I'm really running out of room. <laughs> so, yeah, a bunch of horror movies. Here's Stephen King stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through everything here and talk about every little thing, so I'm, I will point out a couple things. Like, Captain of Dr. Caligari, often credited as being the first full-length horror film. I uh, just recently got that, and I watched it for Halloween. So, yeah. Of course, uh, the classic Universal Monsters box set, as well as a few other things in there. Go down one, there's some more randomness in here. Over here, we've got, uh, well, more horror movies, including the uh, recent um, Godzilla Universe, the Jurassic Park, uh, Shin Godzilla, which I'm hoping for a sequel for sometime soon, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, just uh, horror movies. I finally completed my Saw collection. Kind of hoping that Scream Factory comes up with, like, a full-blown box set, though, because that would be dope. Um, got the Midsummer Director's Cut Blu-ray. Um, didn't get the 4K, because... I don't have a 4K player. I have a 4K TV. I just don't have a 4K player yet. I'm thinking about getting a PS5 just to have the 4K player and the game console in case I want to use it. I haven't been playing too many video games lately, though, so I don't know. Um, I could use a 4K player, though. But, yeah. Down here is Scream Factory. Um, I've been getting super into collecting for that. Uh, here's a handful of some of my favorites. Um, here's some movies I haven't watched yet. I uh, got the Friday the 13th box set that just recently came out. The Critters box set. This Halloween box set is actually out of print now. But I would like to um, sell that and get the 15 disc box set. Um, I just like the look of that one better. Um, but this is my 
small John Carpenter collection for Screen Factory. There's a bunch more in it in the collection that I want to grab. I uh, just haven't yet. So over here is more um, Shout Factory stuff. Gravity Falls I fucking love. Um, Transformers and G.I. Joe kind of go along with my thing, the whole toy collecting thing. Um, yeah, let's continue on down. Here's uh, my um, Nickelodeon movie collection. There's my Blumhouse set in front of the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit extended Blu-rays. Uh, the Hobbit on DVD because it doesn't have a Blu-ray uh, uh, release yet. The Harry Potter collection and Fantastic Beasts. 13 Ghosts. The original. Um, this is a DVD. It's on Blu-ray. I And I, I, I want to watch it. I cannot bring myself to opening this, though. It's still sealed, and uh, it's got this cool stuff printed on the plastic, and I can't bring myself to open that. So, yeah. All right, we're going to move on down. Okay. Uh, to sci-fi fantasy. Got the Terminators over here. This is some of the newer stuff I've recently picked up. Down here is more, including the Hunger Games collection over there at the end. Uh, there's just some random action franchises that I like. Fast and Furious. Uh, Creed. I don't have the Rockies yet for some reason. Uh, John Wick and uh, Chronicles of Riddick stuff. Um, so we're going to move on over. I got a multi-pass. Uh, lamp shelf. My Scooby-Doo shelf. It's not got everything, but it's got a bunch of the good ones on it, so. Random DVD collections and uh, collector's editions. And then down here's my uh, Die Hard collection. Came in Nakatomi Plaza. Up here, some random more Disney toys. Uh, some collector's edition box set Blu-rays. Uh, just recently picked up Casablanca here. Uh, I've also got like uh, Willy Wonka, Wizard of Oz, Nutty Professor. The DC Universe is kind of dope. Um, what the hell is this one? Oh, that's the 300 DVD one. Um, I've upgraded already to Blu ray, but I can't get myself to get rid of that. So, you know. Ten Commandments and Ben Hur, weirdly enough. I'm not a religious guy, but I do have those movies. They're just movies that every movie fan should have in their collection, I think. So. Um, here's a Disney shelf. Got, um, these are some DVDs that they haven't upgraded to Blu-ray yet, but, uh, you know, hopefully at some point they do upgrade, because I'm becoming a snob. Uh, of course, here's, uh, some Disney Movie Club exclusives, as well as the, uh, straight-to-video sequels to a lot of movies. And I do have these in order from, for the eras that they were released in. Um, I'm wanting to do, like, a, uh, ranking for each individual era, era of Disney. So, maybe I'll get to, get around to that at some point. Uh, Disney Pixar, uh, I got the Toy Story box set. Some more random figures in here. Here's my Marvel shelf, uh, as well as Roger Rabbit, for some reason, on the shelf. Um, MCU Phase 1 and Phase 2, they did not release Phase 3, which pissed me off, but whatever. Uh, here's the Fox and Sony Marvel movies. Uh, I don't have all of them. I'm missing some of the X-Men's. Uh, I think I'm missing the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, weirdly enough. Um, but of course I have Deadpool. I've got Logan. Uh, the first two Blades, I'm missing Billy Trinity. Uh, I've got Howard the Duck. Gotta have that one. <laughs> um, collector's edition for Amazing Spider-Man 2. He does light up. I'm not reaching behind him to light him up right now, though. Um, this Stan Lee's Mighty 7 Blu-ray that I found at Dollar General. I did not do that shelf, so I'll get to that in just a second. Down here is Star Wars. Um, there's the MCU movies, including the ones from these box sets. I have them out, so they don't have to, like, open that up and everything like that. These are some random comedies that I just recently picked up. Uh, this Beast, I actually had one as a child, and don't know what happened to it, but I did recently pick him up from a thrift store, so that was cool. Um, more Disney Blu-rays, Hocus Pocus, gotta have that one. Um, I'm actually thinking about, uh, trading these two Studio Ghibli movies for the Shout Factory releases. I don't know, it, like, whatever, I, I've got them, so, you know, cool, but... 
I've gotten in just the shout factory, so I don't know. Um, I'm working on the Muppets movies too. Uh, really want to get um, Muppet Christmas Carol. That one's high on my list to pick up because that's like the best Muppet Carol version. Uh, so yeah, of course the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I'm missing number two because when I get it, I want to have it with the slip cover, which is hard to specify if you're shopping online. And anytime I find it out and about, it does not have the slipcover, and I've got the other four mm, with slipcover. So, OCD, I guess. Down here, I am working on a Don Bluth collection. I have Secret of Nim and the two American Tale movies. So, it's a work in progress. Uh, these are my comedies. As well as this, this is just a pile, a stack of stuff that I need to get around to watching at some point. Some of it's not comedy, so. Um, there's the Grease Blu ray collection in its collector's edition DVD cover. Um, I like the cover, so I took the cover away from the DVD and put the Blu rays in it, so. This is a stack of my childhood favorite films. Uh, Small Soldiers is getting a Blu-ray release in, I want to say, February, and I've already pre-ordered it. So I'm really looking forward to getting that and adding it to my childhood favorites set. Down here at the bottom, we've got mostly action. Um, then over here is some kids or family-friendly films that are not Disney. And a random cat loving on you. So as the Shrek Complete series, random Shrek toy, and a... Quentin Tarantino collection I'm missing two movies from. Um, over here, because I forgot to do this shelf, got the Matrix collection. I need to get the first Matrix on Blu-ray for an upgrade. This is the DVD set, a limited edition, so I can't get rid of that. I do have the sequels upgraded to Blu-ray. I just need to get the first one and possibly Animatrix. No. Home Alone box set. The Blu-rays are actually pulled out of that because I want to watch them for Christmas. Rocky Horror, 40th Anniversary, Marx Brothers Collection, 2001 A Space Odyssey, back there on 4K, The Labyrinth, Collector's Edition, Dark Crystal, Monty Python, 40th Anniversary, The Goonies, 25th Anniversary, I think, maybe 30th, I can't remember. Um, down here is just some of my favorite movies. I just recently watched Gremlins and Gremlins 2 because it's Christmas, but I've also got like the Alien Collection, Predators, um... Godfather Trilogy, which I need to get the uh, re-release of Part 3 because they just recently did a re-edit of it, and supposedly it's better, so, yeah. Um, random non-Marvel uh, comic book movies, uh, the Sin Cities, the DCEU Ninja Turtles, Spawn, Alita Battle Angel, uh, Ghosts in the Shell, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, I think is in there, so, yeah, I'm running out of room <laughs> on that one too, so I, like I said, I need more shelves in this room. Well, I've recently cleared out a spot to put shelves, I just hadn't gone around to getting new shelves yet. My dog is looking at me like, what the hell are you doing, Dad? Down here is just like a drama section. One floor of the cuckoo's nest kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, yeah, then over here, my Criterion Collection, alright! Popcorn buckets and uh, M&M's watching movies on top. Uh, then, of course, we go down into the Criterion set. Um, I'm really into like what they've been releasing lately, like the Thousands section. They've just been putting out some really good movies lately. Uh, like, Not that they've had terrible movies just like through the other, you know. We'll just divvy it up into hundreds. So, um, like... They have good movies in every section, but for some reason, like, the thousands are just what I'm more drawn to. Like, I just recently got Parasite, uh, Marriage Story, um, Grand Budapest Hotel, The Great Escape, War of the Worlds. Uh, great, great movies, and I love the releases. Over here is a TV series. I kind of have, like, a sci-fi shelf on top. It's got Star Trek, Star Trek Next Generation, Star Trek Enterprise, and Star Trek... Discovery, the new one. I don't have season two for that yet, but whatever. Uh, the Complete Twilight Zone, Planet of the Apes Collection, ALF Seasons 1 and 2, Firefly Collection. Uh, just 
then it carries on down here. This is my um, Netflix shelf that are not Criterion, obviously. Uh, it's got Stranger Things 1 and 2. I'm still waiting for a Blu-ray for Season 3. Um, Haunting of Hill House, waiting for the Haunting of Hill House Blind, or Haunting of Blind Manor Blu-ray. I've seen the show, I just want the Blu-ray too. Castlevania, I need to get Seasons 2 and 3. Uh, Daredevil, I need Seasons... I need Season 2, and I need uh, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, all those other ones that were released. Uh, of course, I've got um, a lot of stuff back here. Kyle XY, remember that show? My Own Worst Enemy, The Tick, Xena Warrior Princess, Angel Complete Collection. Um, yeah, I mean, just a lot of stuff. Here's Walking Dead. We're going into the horror section of the TV series. Um, yeah, Walking Dead, Hannibal. Uh, down here, Ash vs. Evil Dead is really good. Tales from the Crypt. I've got the American Horror Story. All of their Blu-ray releases. Um, in America, they stopped before Cult. Which is annoying. Uh, the DVDs are available, but not the Blu-rays. And there is a Region B Blu-ray for Cult. But um, as far as I know, none of the other ones are being released on Blu-ray anywhere. So, that's, you know, stupid. Simpsons. Uh, Supernatural. I love that show. I need to get caught up. I am seasons behind on it. Of course, Family Guy, some South Park, Archer, I love Archer. Over here, um, you got some anime stuff, some BBC stuff, Sherlock, Doctor Who, Monty Python, uh, Faulty Towers, I love Faulty Towers, Black Adder, um, then there's Anime Shelf, Dragon Ball Z, complete Blu-ray collection, as well as Dragon Ball GT, if you count it, um, I've got the complete DVD set, I've got the complete first season of Pokemon, Inuyasha, Death Note. Uh, down here, Ninja Turtles DVD box set, the original Turtles. The complete series for Animaniacs. Um, this, this is kind of like a nostalgia shelf. Batman the Animated Series, the complete set. Beetlejuice the Animated Series. Uh, down here, just a bunch of random stuff. Fargo, I've, I've got a couple seasons of that. Um, some documentary stuff down there. Uh, Briscoe County Jr. with Bruce Campbell. I've got that series, too. Um, then over here is just some more random stuff. This stack is actually for sale. Um, because I either have on Blu-ray upgraded, or I'm going to upgrade soon. Or they're just ones I don't care about. Uh, back here, stuff that does not have Blu-rays, or the Blu-rays are just too expensive and I really can't do them. Hey, Odin! Hey, buddy! What you doing, bud? He's a good boy. So, yeah, that's my, uh, movie room, and I guess from here we can just carry on into my movie watching room. Let me turn off the TV so that I'm, I don't have Christmas music playing. Um, like I said, I just watched Scrooge, uh, Scrooged with Bill Murray, so. Um, let start from back here, I guess. Some, these back here are vintage movie posters. Uh, I framed them. Uh, of course the frames were a little bit too small, which was annoying, but whatever. What are you gonna do? Back to the Future poster. That is not vintage. Um, kind of had hopes that it was, but then I found at the bottom of it a link to a website, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not from the 80s. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars, uh, Toy Story. That one, I think, might be vintage. Um, a random hat rack with a horse mask. A Casablanca clock, or Clockablanca, if you will. Up here is um, a DVD rewind, or a VHS rewinder, excuse me, in its box. A video recorder cleaner, still in the box. Uh, that's Entertainment Volume 1 and 2 on VHS. They, those were just really cool, so, yeah, whatever. Um, Nerd Cave Cinema. That sign does light up. Uh, well, it would if I plug it into a Blu-ray player. I do not have a Blu-ray player 4 over here. Um, if I find one cheap enough, I want to put it over here because I've got a projector over here. That is a cheap-ass projector. It is not high quality at all whatsoever. So, But it does. It does fine, I guess. Uh, if you want to watch something, you know, theater style. Um, M&M thing. Here's my sound bar. There's the American Horror Story Blu-rays. Um, I was watching them in October and I, uh, got busy, got out of it. Um, so I need to finish up 
Coven is what I was on. I was on the last disc for that. Uh, move back this way. Uh, the red curtains kind of give it that theater look. Up here, some vintage uh, glasses. Um, Jurassic World popcorn bucket and the uh, um, reusable cup. Um, those were not available in America, and I found them on eBay. And I'm like, screw it, let's get it. Okay, uh, so... Some 3D glasses here, uh, COVID masks, and um, these candy boxes are actually empty. I just kind of have them up for decoration, as well as the popcorn box up here, uh, just because it gives it that um, sort of snack area theater look. So, um, yeah. Um, I do stack up uh, movies on the racks here. It was a lot fuller for Halloween because I actually had a set... Uh, list of movies I wanted to watch for Halloween. Um, these are just random movies that I haven't gotten around to watching yet. So, you know, I just kind of stick them there so that I, I'm reminded off and on, like, oh yeah, I need to get around to watching that. And then I don't watch it, and it's like, whatever. So, um, oh, sort of a movie themed, uh, I guess, popcorn bucket. It's kind of like those uh, tin popcorn buckets that you get around Christmas that I am addicted to. And um, so, yeah. Uh, eventually I need to get around to cleaning some of the clutter around here, but yeah. Okay, so here we go back into vintage toys. Uh, some vintage Star Wars. Uh, just recently picked up the ATST Scout Walker. It was so awesome. That's like one. That was one of the vehicles I was like so high on my list to get. Um, at, at the same store that I picked up the ATAT Walker, so that was dope. Um, of course, we got the. I always get them confused. I think Y Wing. I think. I, I'm probably getting that wrong, and there's so many Star Wars nerds that are just going to crucify me for that. Um, so, comic book collection, mostly graphic novel collection, um, is really cool. Uh, got the metal Spider-Man thing here. Down here is just some random stuff, popcorn for movies, some glasses that say movie night. Leftover Halloween candy that I'm slowly working on. I bought a lot of Halloween candy. Uh, some vintage gremlin stuff back here in the back. Um, I pulled them out for like a photo op for Christmas because it was December 1st. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a gremlin's candid. Christmas movies right here. Yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Fuck off. So, um, got a Millennium Falcon kite hanging from the ceiling. A bunch of posters back here. Vintage Simpsons poster. Um, just random movie posters that you can grab for free at the theater whenever you get to go to the theater i'm really really wanting the theater to open back up soon um i swear i'll wear a mask um this hat has a story to it that i'm going to reveal eventually i'm really hoping that i can actually talk about it soon so um over here uh random like movie statues i guess of course we got a uh, ryan reynolds statue back here um uh, I hope you get it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, these came with Amazing Spider-Man. Obviously, that came with Batman v Superman. The statue is better than the movie. Um, actually, it was the director's cut of the movie, and it was better than the theatrical cut. But um, still kind of disappointing. Uh, the Martha thing, I just fucking hate. Okay, so um, Ghostbusters, you got King Kong. You got the Hobbit stuff down here. Um, Transformers, Jurassic World... Down here, some random video game plushes. Move up top. Got a Boba Fett helmet, a Stormtrooper helmet, a bunch of like movie books. Um, Indiana Jones, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Batman Returns. The Gremlins books are up there usually, but like I said, I pulled them down for a photo op. And my vintage Star Wars shelf. Um... A lot of Star Wars figures here, and I love it. It's so awesome. A bunch of them are doubles, which, you know, whatever. Eventually, I'll get around to selling them or whatever, but for now, it's just dope, you know. Down here's more Star Wars. This guy's vintage. Um, the belt buckle is vintage. That's not. These are vintage. He's vintage. He's vintage. I found him for 20 bucks on Facebook, and I was so excited because, like, I was literally just talking about the uh, Rancor figure. My family, we called him the Doodoo Monster because it's kind of what it looks like. And um, it was years before I found out his name was Rancor. 
But I found him on Facebook, like, shortly after I was talking about him. Like, oh, fuck, yes. And I picked him for 20 bucks. Um, Star Wars VHS is back here. Uh, audiobook for Shadows of the Empire. I mostly just have that because uh, the game was dope on N64, so. But um, I do love decorating with VHS tapes. If you watch the um, toy section at the beginning, you notice that. Down here is just some more random stuff, some posters. Uh, Funko. I don't collect Funko, but um, every now and then I will get one as a gift or something. And so it's like, eh, okay, cool. I guess I'll put it somewhere. But I'm just not that into Funkos. Uh, we've got... Um, uh, what the hell is it called from Lord of the Rings? Um, the Beldrog. Uh, he's a candle holder, and he's really cool when you light him up. Uh, R2-D2 mug, alien, uh, beanie baby, and a dagger that I picked up at a yard sale years ago. I don't know why. I guess it was cool looking, so. Um, yeah. So, um, over here we got the 3D capable TV, 3D capable Blu-ray player. Um, oh, I had one of these as a kid, and I was so excited to find one as an adult because it's cool, and so I've got it decorating my movie room. <laughs> I don't have room for it anywhere else, so it's like, whatever. And then over here, oh, I guess I can show that off too, uh, just random movie theater themed, uh, plaque? I don't, I don't know what you would call it. It's not a painting, it's not a poster, but it's cool. Um, uh, movie poster quote thing made of wood, and it's... It's pretty cool. Um, Halloween Corner. Uh, up here is a, I want to say it's a raccoon skull. It might be possum, I'm not sure. My cousin gave it to me for a housewarming, and it was really cool. So, decorating my Halloween Corner. Uh, random collage that I made. Uh, Scream mask, Chucky mask, uh, the Universal Monsters in figure form. As well as just like any kind of like plastic bugs or other kind of plastic... Uh, monster toys that just look cool for the collection a bunch of random stuff down here decorating uh, my cats knocked my jigsaw planter over okay that's a halloween decoration i made myself the pumpkin there um of course random vhs is down there i've got those everywhere and um these are basically like the Christmas villages that you see. Uh, these are like the Universal Monster versions of those. They all have the little figure. I've got like certificate of authenticity for all of them out in my storage. But uh, they're just chilling here, looking good. And some more in the boxes because I don't have room for them anywhere else. So, yeah. And, um,. That's about it as far as my collection goes. Um, you've seen my toys, my games, my movies, my movie room. Um, and uh, I'm ho I hope you're impressed. Oh. My vintage gizmo. He says bye. He's out because Christmas. So I'm not feeling very holly jolly, so I'm doing everything I can to like, get myself into the spirit. Anyway, so that's been my 2020 nerd cave tour i hope that i impress some of you random strangers on the internet and buddy of mine that watches my videos because he's like the only person that actually watches my videos um i hope you're jealous so <laughs> uh but anyway so anyway remember physical media will never die i really hope to see you in the next one please be safe for the holidays and uh let's hope 2021 is so much better than 2020 because this year's been a bitch um yeah so that's all i gotta say later